Hey guys, it's Chris. From deadly pet hedgehogs to an alleged fleet of communist killer dolphins, here are 10 animals that are more dangerous than you knew. Number 10. Deadly Koalas Starting off the list today is the cute and adorable koala bear. While it's generally been accepted that koalas are super dangerous with their sharp claws and horrendous teeth, they also present another less expected danger. According to a 2006 report from the BBC, koala bears are running rampant with chlamydia. Yes, this sexually transmitted disease is currently plaguing Australia's koala bears. A professor of infectious diseases at the Burnett Institute in Melbourne claims that at least half the population of koalas are infected with this disease, and in closed populations, it's as many as 80%. It may be a different strain of chlamydia than what typically affects us humans, but it is still contagious. You can unwittingly contract the disease from a koala through its urine, so be sure not to do that. In koalas, the disease can cause blindness, infertility, and a deadly infection known as dirty tail. This is an infection that causes the urinary tract to become inflamed, which is super painful for the koalas. Plus, it does usually kill them. This is awful news, seeing as koalas are basically on the edge of extinction. In the early part of the 20th century, they were almost completely wiped out because of the fur trade. Then came the chlamydia and finally the recent forest fires. It's not looking good for these koala bears. For such an adorable animal, extinction from chlamydia would be a truly disturbing twist of fate. Number 9. Kangaroo Moving on to another famous Australian animal, the kangaroo is far more dangerous than you might think. In a recent story from Insider, it's been claimed that kangaroos are attacking tourists in Australia because they're horribly addicted to carrots and it's actually becoming a serious problem. Obviously, most tourists in Australia definitely want to get a selfie with a kangaroo, and at the Morissette Hospital in New South Wales, kangaroos are in abundance. Here they have kangaroos that allow people to get super close to them to take selfies. But all the people giving the kangaroos human food have caused them to become more aggressive than usual. A driver of the tourist shuttle has come forward saying that tourists have been found feeding the kangaroos carrots, McDonald's, and even KFC. Because there are at least 2,000 tourists coming a week, these kangaroos receive a whole lot of goodies, but it's making them go crazy. One Polish tourist told Insider that she was attacked by a male kangaroo out of nowhere. The kangaroo jumped on her back and knocked her to the ground. And while she wasn't gravely injured, what if it had been a child? Kangaroos aren't overly dangerous, an attack from one probably wouldn't kill you, but you definitely don't want to be kicked in the face by a kangaroo, especially if you're a small person. So have you been close to a kangaroo in real life? Was it as crazy as these ones? I've only ever seen a kangaroo in a zoo, and it was asleep at the time. Let me know what your kangaroo experience was like. Post about it in the comments below. Then be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, so you can stay up to date with all the latest and greatest videos. Number 8. Chimpanzee our closest ancestor, the chimpanzee, is actually a bit of a lunatic. A recent story from Fox News is claiming that chimpanzees are attacking people in Uganda in record numbers. Apparently, the problem has been going on for many years, and there was a particular incident in 2014 when a chimp fatally attacked a small child, only two years old, after stealing the baby from its mother. And this wasn't even in a zoo. In an interview, the mother of the deceased child said that she was in her garden when the chimp ran out of nowhere, grabbed the child, and ran off with it. By the time the chimp was caught, it was too late. The chimp had already attacked the child to a point where it could not be saved. It's not completely clear why chimpanzees in Uganda are attacking young children. It could be because of habitat loss, or it could be because they feel threatened. Nobody really knows. But one thing is for certain, chimpanzees are basically uncontrollable primate humanoids with a lot of strength and a lot of speed. And if you live in Uganda, you don't want to leave your child out in the garden for the chimps to find. Number 7. Duck-billed platypus It's not highly likely that you'll meet a platypus while strolling through your local park, but nonetheless, these weird animals are extremely dangerous and people should know about them. The main reason for the danger is that the platypus are actually venomous. 
It's a bizarre creature already as an egg-laying mammalian, but add in the weird toxic spurs that the platypus has on its feet, and this is something that shouldn't really even exist. Why does the platypus even need venom? This is a pretty docile animal that has very few predators aside from snakes and foxes. It definitely doesn't need toxins for hunting. The only explanation that researchers can agree on is that males probably use their toxic feet during mating competitions. Basically, these weird little animals have evolved to have poisonous feet so they can kill other males in a fight to claim females. Now, how is that for a serious dating culture? Good lord! If you ever do run into a duck-billed platypus, don't worry. According to how stuff works, their venom probably can't kill you, but it's definitely gonna make you cry. Plus, you would have to go well out of your way to actually encounter one of these animals in the wild. Number 6. Panda Bear Out of all the bears in the world, the panda bear is definitely the cuddliest. They're also ridiculously huge, extremely fat, and more than a little bit lazy. But that doesn't mean the panda bear isn't a vicious wild animal. In a news story from 2016, a victim of a panda attack was left fighting for their life and in need of seven pints of blood. This happened after being attacked by a giant panda in the wild. It all started when a man from China set off with two of his colleagues in a nature reserve to monitor a female bear and her daughter. They were observing the bears when the mother suddenly attacked. She dragged the conservationist around the ground, attacking him with her razor-sharp teeth and leaving him with two broken wrists and part of his hand missing. And all the guy was trying to do was make sure the pandas were okay in the nature reserve, because the monitoring device attached to the young bear had not been functioning properly and they feared the baby could be dead. Considering there are less than 2,000 giant pandas left in the wild, you are highly unlikely to run into one. But the next time you see one at the zoo, just remember these bears look adorable, but can secretly be killing machines. Number 5. Dolphin this next one is almost too ridiculous to believe. By now, we've all heard of the stories of dolphins terrorizing the oceans, picking on other sea creatures for fun, and sometimes even pestering humans. But according to the BBC, dolphins trained to kill have recently been sold to Iran. But what exactly the dolphins are going to do for the military is an absolute mystery. So far as the story goes, the dolphins were trained by special Russian experts to attack warships and enemy soldiers in the water, but eventually the project ceased, probably because it was ridiculous, and most of the dolphins were moved to private aquariums to perform for tourists. However, some of them have been sent to Iran, basically as aquatic mercenaries. It's hard to know what to make of this story. The point is that dolphins are much more dangerous than they appear considering they can be turned into actual weapons. Whether these dolphins could really be used in war is a bit up for debate. And the whole premise of them being sold as weapons in the first place is absolutely nonsensical. But yeah, don't mess with a fleet of killer Iranian dolphins. Number 4. Giant Anteater the giant anteater is up there with some of the most docile animals in the world. It almost looks like a ground sloth with a really long nose. Not a single thing about the giant anteater looks threatening. But don't let its innocent appearance, kind eyes, and long nose fool you. Anteaters can absolutely be deadly. Sure, they can't see very well, they have horrible hearing, and they don't even have any teeth. But anteaters do have extremely sharp claws on both of their forelimbs. The biggest of the giant anteaters can grow to be around 7 feet long according to live science, and its claws are big enough to inflict fatal wounds on a human. There was even a supposed incident in which a hunter was left dead in northwestern Brazil after a confrontation with one of those long-nosed beasts. But hey, in this case the anteater was probably just defending itself. When the giant anteater is threatened, it'll stand on its back feet and show you its giant claws. This may look like the anteater is trying to hug you, but it's actually about to kill you. If you're ever in a situation where a giant anteater comes out of nowhere looking like it wants to hug your legs, you should probably run away. Number 3. Stingray This one might not even belong on the list. Ever since the 2006 incident with Steve Irwin, I think the whole world has been afraid of stingrays. But before the famous crocodile hunter was stung to death by one of these weird animals, most people never thought of them as very dangerous. It's not like they can swim up and bite you, they are extremely docile, and they only ever attack in self-defense. Plus, the only injuries related to humans are generally on the ankles and lower legs, and only because someone accidentally stepped on a stingray buried in the sand. That's what makes the incident with Steve Irwin so much more tragic. When it happened, nobody could really believe it. After wrangling some of the deadliest animals in the world, Steve was killed by something as innocent and harmless as a stingray. But that brings up the point of this sad tale. 
Stingrays are clearly much more dangerous than we've been giving them credit for. Yes, a stingray does have venom, but it isn't usually deadly. In the case of Steve Irwin, he was actually stabbed directly in the heart, which is why he died. So he either met the only stingray in the world with perfect aim, or stingrays are more diabolical than we could even imagine. Number 2. Hedgehogs Beware the hedgehog. The tiny little animal sitting in your child's room in its cage looking cute and innocent could be the death of you. Back in 2019, the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, actually had to investigate an outbreak of salmonella poisoning linked to contact with pet hedgehogs. According to the CDC themselves, hedgehogs are able to carry salmonella even if they look healthy and appear clean. Touch your hedgehog, you are unwittingly taking the salmonella bacteria from your pet onto your person. The outbreak investigation ended in October of 2019, but the CDC is still warning people that you can get sick from carrying around your hedgehog. Between August 1st and October 2nd, at least seven people were reported ill because of the outbreak, but there have been no reported deaths. I think I'm gonna stick with a safe hamster or gerbil personally. Number one, magpie. Magpies are arguably the most hated animal in all of Australia. They're a nuisance, they're annoying, and they're more dangerous than they appear. Magpies are naturally aggressive, will defend their precious nests with all of the power in their beaks and all the strength in their claws. According to a behavioral ecologist at Griffith University, magpies actually cause thousands of injuries every single year. This is because when hikers, cyclists, and leisurely walkers get too close to a magpie nest, the birds will fly down like helicopters from above and try to destroy the person. In fact, magpies that are breeding are the highest achievers in their society. They survived for years, they fought extremely hard to claim a piece of territory, and they've been able to find a partner. This means they are the biggest and baddest of the magpie birds, and it's no surprise that they come swooping at your face when you enter into their domain. While there aren't a whole lot of deaths caused by magpies, they're still a dangerous nuisance and much more menacing than they appear. Have you ever wrangled with one of these dangerous monsters? Let me know about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe for all the latest videos. We'll see you again soon. Have you ever come across any of the animals on this list in the wild? If so, what was that experience like?